Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's fan art video. And I'm doing something very special to an anime I absolutely love called Princess Tutu. So I'm just quickly showing you here some of the rough sketches I've done for the piece and the second rough sketch is the one I really decided to go for. The paper I'm using is the Dela Roundy Mixed Media um, paper and you can see I've already marked out what size I'm going to go for. So this is slightly bigger than A4 and the original will be up on my store envy which will be linked down below and print pre-orders will be open as well which is going to be linked down below if you ever want to check that out. Um, Princess Tutu really plays like a really big love in my heart. It crosses over two of my favourite things which is like ballet and fairy tales and I remember watching this anime uh, back when I was much younger and just absolutely falling in love with it. So um, Princess Tutu was created back in 2002 um, but it was uh, came about around 2003. It's only two volumes in the manga and I'm very very fortunate to actually own one of the mangas. Um, I can't never been able to find the second one but I do own volume one and it's very very much loved um, and the anime is only like 26 episodes long and if you ever want a really good feel good shoujo style animation you should really watch it the ballet in this is really well done it's very inspired by um, like sorry by ballet and fairy tales and you can see the uh, like the actual ballet movements they're all like proper ballet movements and that's why I really like it because it's just really really cute um, the I'll just give you a small synopsis of the actual anime. Uh, it's basically about a duck who is transformed into the mythical ballerina princess Tutu, and she just wants to save the shattered heart of a prince. And it just builds up this whole wonderful story and like by the puppeteer behind the scenes. It is absolutely wonderful. I wrote so much more, but you should really check it out. So this piece that I've done is of well two of the characters you've got Princess Tutu in the foreground and Princess Cray in the background and they're almost like battling over the prince's heart and I absolutely love like anything which shows like a light character and a dark character almost fighting together I think it's just really poetic and really beautiful and I just really wanted to do a really nice tribute piece to one of my all-time favorite animes which I don't think many people have heard about um, and when I mentioned it that I wanted to do a fan art piece like some people got really excited and some people didn't know so if you haven't checked it out I mean it's not a massive series it's only 26 episodes if you just want uh, something that will make you smile a very light-hearted shoujo story I highly recommend checking Princess Tutu out I so the materials I've used in this essentially have been the Sakura Micro um, a brown, dark brown pencil and then I've gone over with my Korotaki Flex Ball to thicken up certain areas of my lines. This is just to make the image have a bit more flow instead of all the lines having that same variation. By me actually building them up creates this very, um, like, makes the image seem to flow a bit better. Uh, this one I knew I wanted an extremely detailed background so the stuff that's actually in the background is all to do with the show as well so you've got the clock and ticking the water and all the patterns and all to do with like different parts of the story flowers clockworks everything that i could possibly fit in but not to overcrowd the illustration and so i knew that i wanted to do this because i knew it would be very important and i am using a ruler and this is just so i can get straight lines as possible because as steady as my hand can be Sometimes drawing straight lines is really not my forte, <laughs> not at all. So with this, it's just all about building layers. I've essentially using my trusty old pro markers to build up my uh, core parts of my illustration. And then for the background, really building up with watercolors, just to give it a bit more of a soft, like soft faded effect on the background. You will see here I am using some of my very limited amount of Copics I have. I don't actually use Copics all that often, um, I find them very expensive, 
so which is why I tend to use the Pro Marker range and anyway because I find them a lot less inexpensive and I don't actually like the Copics as much but I have a lot more range in the grey tones with the Copics so this is why I actually use this so instead of going in straight in black which I knew was going to make her little cray who's in the background that was going to make her a lot flatter by building up lighter greys and then going into dark greys and then building up layer by layer essentially what i'm doing is instead of having a black just being black it's got more dimension to it um and this just this is really important when you are coloring darker illustrations remember that there's a lot more to it than it just being one matte color um by me building up the greys and then going to the extreme dark grey meant that it wasn't too dark on the background, it actually worked and it, it meant that um, when I was overlaying the chiffon that's at the bottom of Princess Tutu's dress it meant that because I'd done such a light layer with the grey underneath it it gave it that sort of effect so that it was almost see-through it's not perfect um, but you know, I like it for what it is so you, what you'll just see me here, um, all I'm doing is building up layers, building up layers, building up layers. I'm not going to the point where everything is completely smoothed out. I'm giving it almost a comic feel effect, but keeping the actual shading a lot smoother. And you'll see as well, I'll go over with gel pen and this is just to highlight certain areas to make them pop more against the background. Now there are things I like about this illustration and there are things I don't like, as always with everything that I do. Um, the things I like, I really like the posing I've chosen for the characters and I really like the background. I think it's, um, it's enough detail but not over detailed in the background to make these characters really stand out. The thing I didn't really like is I think my colour choices could have been a little bit better. Um, I find that the overall piece in the end is very desaturated and we could have made colours pop a lot more um, on there which would have made it a lot better if I'd chosen maybe a slightly different pose or a slightly different background um, but it is what it is and I do like the overall effect of the illustration but I can see areas which are improved which is something that if you are regular to my videos you understand that I I do like what I do most of the time I just like to notice my mistakes and see how I could rectify them in the future like I really love the way I've done the raven but I don't like the way I've done the duck I think the duck is too linear it doesn't organically flow as much as the crow does the crow's got movement to it it's got like uh, a line of action to it whereas the duck is too angular if that makes any sense like the wings are not like bent out to make looks it look smoother or they're not made to look like that it's actually pointing its hands down which would have been better if i spread out the feathers a bit more and to create that angular sort of friction to it and here i am going in with my um, purple and my blue markers and this is just so then the white area isn't always white um, and this is because you'll find um, with a lot of different colours that you're using, especially to try and make something pop, but without having to use the direct colour to it. I like to try and mix as many colours as I could. So um, if I was going for a more extreme colour palette, I would have added a lot more purples to Cray to make her black area stand out more. And I would have added a lot more pink to Princess Tutu to make her area stand out a little bit more. Uh, and that is just how I build up my layers um, but for this I just wanted a very soft shading I didn't want to over shade it if that makes any sense <laughs> I didn't want to over crowd any shadowing areas because this makes uh, can make your shadows extremely harsh and you don't want that at all Doing the actual line work took me much longer than the colouring and this is just because I can be very tentative or I can end up taking a lot of time when I'm doing illustration especially when I'm um, like lining it whereas when I'm going into the actual colouring I 9 times out of 10 I've always already got colour palette in mind on what I'm doing whereas this background the reason why it is like is because I, I realised that if I was 
So with the actual markers in the front, they are bold that makes the characters stand out. Whereas you don't want, I didn't want too much detail going into the background, otherwise it would overshadow the characters. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to kind of put, I wanted the characters to pop out more than the background. And this is just a very simple way of me being able to do that. So I really got, hope you guys like my little talks about how I um, break down an image. Um, I've heard some, I've read some of the comments and people find it actually useful. So uh, if you guys find this useful, thank you. Um, I just tend to talk about what I think would make an illustration work and what I think doesn't make it work really. Uh, just because I, I just enjoy drawing really and I like to self-analyze what I do. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of Princess Tutu and you're into ballet and music and beautiful movement, I highly recommend you check it out. It is probably one of my all-time favourite pieces of anime and it is beautiful to watch. It is really, really wonderful. It can be a little cheesy at times, but hey, it's a shoujo. Most shoujos tend to be a little bit cheesy. <laughs> So you, I'm just shading in areas here with a bit of blue pencil and this is just to make the characters stand out a bit more while I'm adding white highlights onto the background to make them pop. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration. If you ever have any suggestions on what other fan art I should try out next or if you have any shows that you recommend to me, let me know in the comments down below. Any shows that you guys end up watching or any fan art you've done of Princess Tutu, I'd love to see it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below or like if you ever want to discuss about your favourite shows. I'm always up for a good dis discussion. If you want to see more content from me, then maybe subscribe to my little, little channel. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay creative.